welcome to my spirit room slash personal room. Um, this is basically my area that my husband's got, like his own area as well, but this is kind of my area. Um, I'm a very spiritual person, I'm a Christian, and um, so yeah, this is my area that I have. It's just this little room um, with all my books in it, and yeah, this is how it looks. Of course, there's a press of my um, own stuff in there, like my um, shoes, because as you know, I've got a lot of shoes. <laughs> All right, so let's start on this side, um, the door. Excuse that mess. Hobie and I are going through our um, all our stuff, see what we want to donate and sell and, you know, what you do currently, like, during December times. Plus, we've been in COVID lockdown, so we kind of sorted out the house a bit more. So ignore that. Um, so down here, we've got my, my phone tripod. Works great. Um, that's also a donation pile. That's getting donated. We might as well shift this out here. There we go. Um, this little charm is from, I think it was from my mum. I love rabbits. So she got me that as a gift. And then if we go over here, I'm not going to show you what's inside the closet because that's just a mess. But there's handbags. Um, there's winter clothes and uh, workout clothes. Then over here, we've got my shoes. Nicely stacked. Um... Well, some of my shoes, <laughs> nicely stacked. I love those little stack thingies. I uh, forgot what you call them. Anyway, so if we go to this side, this is just um, a drawer dresser that was in this house when we moved in. As you know, I'm a dairy farmer and we get housing with our work jobs. We do pay rent, of course. But um, yeah, this was just left behind by the previous people. So I have used it. I've got a lot of my beauty supplies in there um, and some stuff I just don't have space for just stacked in. I love doing my nails, even though I'm not professional at all about it, but I love doing my nails. So I've got my little stack over there. Um, then you can just see the rest of the stuff here. Hello. <laughs> um, and then my little jewelry box, my makeup. Um, and then if we go over here, we've got my one of my bookcases um this one's got most of my spiritual stuff on it um as you can see down there there's some photo frames and stuff for the wedding stuff for my wedding photos i want to get developed uh, my vintage suitcase that i absolutely love and then up here we've got like two vintage teacups that i got given by a, my neighbor on a previous farm um she gave it as a gift and i absolutely love them then we've got my little handheld crossbow. Um, I absolutely love weapons. I love knives, guns, um, whips, stuff like that. I really love. And um, so that's yeah, one of the stuff that I've got here. Because like I don't have any guns, but I do have a lot of knives. Um, I'll probably show you my knife collection if you guys want to see it at some point. But yeah, I have to cut it in half because half of it was in, is, 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 sorry, is in South Africa. Anyway, let's continue on. So this is my uh, most of my spiritual stuff. Um, and the reason I'm saying just spiritual and not Christian is because not all of it is Christian. Um, that's my memory box down there, my memory suitcase technically. Um, but yeah, so not all of it is Christian based, but it's spiritual stuff. Plus I've got my journals and everything. And then if we go over here at the top, um, I love coffee cups and mugs and... You know, I absolutely love them, so I collect a lot. And these are the ones that I just refuse to drink out of. Um, they're just collection items that I absolutely I love. Now, that big sword, gun sword thing over there, that's my husband's, but I quite enjoy, I quite like the tackiness of it, so I kept it. And then this is my New Zealand wedding bouquet um, that my mother-in-law had made for me, so... I don't think I've mentioned this, but I got married twice, uh, once in New Zealand and then once in South Africa. Same husband, <laughs> a month apart. It was just because we've got uh, families from all over the world. We kind of set it up like that. But that will be a story time. If you want to guys want to hear it, let me know. So if we go down here, um, this is my spirit cabinet. Um, this is where I have my one-on-one -on -one time. And I'm not going to show you guys what's in there because it's private. I'm very protective over my spiritual area. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I'm very protective over my spirit area and this is one of the stuff that I keep shut away because it's just for me even my husband he does not come in here he does not come and miss here or touch anything if he needs something he'll come and ask me even because I'm very energy protective over this cabinet I don't know why you call it a cabinet yeah probably cabinet but basically it's a perfect little writing area where you can just pull out you can just pull out this and you flop it open and then you can write and it's got little shelves inside and it's awesome. I absolutely love this. I got this at Why Buy New. Uh, it's a secondhand store and I was very fortunate to get it because the people I've showed it afterwards are like, where did you get it? We want this. It's so cool. And it's kind of perfect. Like you don't find a lot of them. I think it's Kerry Wood or something like that as well. But um, I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. So, yep, that is my little spirit cabinet. And then here <laughs> we've got my ginormous, like, yeah, ginormous couch. I call it a couch, but people call it like a side seater or, a, or a, um, a single seater or I don't know. But anyway, I'll just call it my couch, armchair couch, whatever. Anyway, so this is where I sit if I want to write down and I'll be shooting some of my videos. Back here, I want to do something. If I'm going to be shooting more videos in here, I want to do something there to make it more nicely. I'm thinking about maybe getting a plant for that corner. That would be really cool, I think. And then if you come to this side, this is my other bookshelf. Um, so this has just got more of my different books in here. I'll tell you about that painting now. But anyway, so this is my financial stuff. And then you get more to my older books, my vintage books. I love collecting vintage books. Um, so that's a few of those. Can't really find any of my other ones, but I'll, I'll find them eventually. Then down here we've got um, my crime stuff. I am a huge fan of true crime and um, to know why people do things. So I'm thinking I'm going to be doing a few videos at some point from these books because it's like the crime of the um, profile of a criminal mind. Squid good book. Uh, famous cold cases I think would be a really good book to do focus on and do some cases out of it. Um, the heroes and villains. And then I think that would be a really good book a few good books to do cases out of so yeah this is just some of my self-help books <laughs> i've got quite a lot absolutely love them then if we down go what we go down here then we've got um uh, medical all my medical books i still need to find another one just to like even it out or get like a brace a book brace or something like that then we've got here we've got my food my recipe books um and a an <laughs> random um notebook and then down here, we've just got like a bit of a, a New Zealand based, travel based, lifestyle based books. Uh, not so self help quite, quite, but um, some of New Zealand stuff. Then just random reading books um, down here. And then here we've got like animal wise farming. Um, yeah. And then, well, if you can see that, that's my little, that's my foraging basket. <laughs> and um, that is my bug out bag for like run type of stuff um like to grab and run if something should happen and yeah so the reason for this um this is a painting that my father-in-law made for my husband um but i absolutely love it it's one of his i think it's one of his first paintings he did when he was figuring out his style if i can remember the story correctly my husband can correct me if he wants to but as far as i remember he painted this he didn't really love it um <coughs> <coughs> sorry bloody COVID he didn't really love it um it wasn't his style that he wanted to go into I'll show you one of his other paintings later he's fantastic but my husband loved it and so he took it and I absolutely love it so husband said I can hang it up here um so that's the story behind that and I think that is about it for my little spirit room we'll back out again so you guys get a full view and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.